Okay, we have a question which says the following. A farmer has five hectares in which to grow either grain or vegetables. To sell an hectare, an hectare of grain costs 1,200 euros, while to sell an hectare of vegetables costs 600 euros. She has 3,600 euros available. If she sells X hectares of grain and Y hectares of vegetables, write down two inequalities. Profit on hectares of grain is 800, while a profit on a hectare of vegetable is 500 euros. <clears throat> How should she sell the 5 hectares in order to maximize the profits? So basically, I wrote down here the data again saying, okay, so you have a maximum of 5 hectares. Um, we have a maximum of 5 hectares. Uh, we're going to call each hectare of grain, we're going to call it X, and which hectare of, of vegetables, we're going to call it Y. And then the maximum money she has available to spend is 3,600 euros, okay? And then this is the formula for the profit, but we're going to use it later. So if we go back here, um, we have that um, she has five hectares. And we said that one hectare of grain is X and one hectare of... And it's not one hectare, sorry. Um, each hectare, like... X, X is going to be the hectares of grain and Y is going to be the hectares of vegetables. So we said that X, which is plus Y, has to be less or equal than 5. Which means that the number of the number of hectares of grain plus the number of hectares of, of vegetables can't be bigger than 5. So it has to be less or equal than 5, okay? Okay. So following, we have... As we as it says here on top, that an hectare of grain costs a thousand two hundred euros, and a hectare of vegetables costs six hundred euros to sell. So basically, what we have is that if we spend um a thousand two hundred euros per hectare of grain, so as that's why it's multiplying hectares of grain because it's a thousand euro, it's a thousand two hundred euros per hectare of grain. But we don't know the number yet, so we're gonna call it x. Plus, um, 600 euros per hectare of vegetables, which is the exact same, can't be, so it has to be less or equal than 3,600 euros, because that's the money she has available. So now we have a pair of equations, right? As the question says. So now we can graph it. <clears throat> we can graph these two equations. Okay. And this is going to be x, and this is going to be y. Basically, we can reduce this equation, this one here, we can reduce this, and we can simplify this in an easier way. As you can see, there's zeros here, we can divide everything by 100, and then we can still, we can divide everything by 6, because everything is divided by 6, so this is going to be 2x, say so, um, 2x plus y is less or equal than 6. And I'm going to rewrite, rewrite everything again. 2x plus y is less or equal than 6. Now we have easy numbers. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we are nearly done. So I'm going to use the red one for this one. Okay, so we get two numbers. So let's say... Let's say it's x when x is equal to zero, then we have that y is equal to five. Y is equal to five, and then when y is equal to zero, when y is equal to zero, this is the point then zero five, and then when y is equal to zero, x is equal to five. So now we have five zero. So now we have five zero and zero five. I make a map online through it. Okay, grant. Um, <clears throat> because it is less or equal to zero, this is, this is going to be a straight line. But if it was only less or or greater than, with no equal, it'll be like a dotted line. Okay, just keep that in mind. And then we're going to do the other one. We're going to do it in green. So I'll put it here, and we're going to do the exact same process. So we say, when x is equal to zero then y is equal to 6, so we have the point 0, 6. When y is equal to 0, 
then x is equal to 3. Now we have the point 3, 0. So we have 0, 6, 0, 6, and then we have 3, 0, 3, 0. And we join the lines. Okay, <clears throat> as you can see, the point we got, we got is this one, which the point is, the point is, um, is one, four. So because the x value is equal to the hectares of, of grain, and y is equal to the hec the number of hectares of vegetables. Then we know that we can use only one. There's the maximum point because it is the highest point in which both match. Okay, it's not because they're crossing each other; it's because it's the highest point in which they both they're both in. So if we got this point, for example, here, that point wouldn't be included in the the green equation, so it wouldn't count. This is the highest point that both of them have. And it's normally the point where they cross over, sometimes it's not though. So bear that in mind. So we have one hectare of grain. Why? Because if x is the number of um hectares of grain and we got these two points, this is x, this is x and this is y. So then we got four hectares or vegetables. What do we do now? Well if we're just gonna make sure, we're just gonna write it down here, one hectare of grain and four hectares of vegetables. So now we're gonna make sure everything is grand. So we said, <clears throat> his hectare of grain is is 1,200, so it's 1,200, and it's only one, and this is gonna be four by 600 each hectare. So that's going to be 3, it's going to be 1,024. This, if you add it up, is going to be 3,600 euros. So she spent all her money, but she didn't spend more. So this satisfies the equation. So now we know how many hectares of grain and how many hectares of vegetables we need to make the maximum profit.